Hey everybody, this is Rado, and we are back with another episode of Hearthstone. All I have to do is cast two spells, and I am done. Done for this recording session. So, everything should be pretty easy. What I said last episode was we were going to redo mm, the Paladin deck. Have we already redone the Paladin deck? I don't think so. Wait, what am I doing? Hit the wrong button there. I think we have done the Shaman's deck. And I think we've done the Warrior, so the Paladin may be the last deck that we can rebuild. Just take a look at it and see what's in it. Well, there isn't a lot on it. So let's try this. Bye bye, Paladin deck. Let's make a new Paladin deck. Alright. The Paladin summons the 1 1 cards. For eight, restore eight health and draw three cards. Lay on hands. That's interesting. Restore six health to your hero. Um, when you summon a mech, gain divine shield. Nice. Double minions attack. Deal three damage, draw a card. Deal two damage to all enemies. Plus plus. plus uh, four. <laughs> Draw until you have as many cards as the other people. A lot of divine shield. Give a minion divine shield. Alright. Eye for an eye. Choose a minion whenever it attacks, draw a card. Give a minion plus three attack. Secret. Alright. So, just picking paladin cards, I have 29 of 30. Let us. All we've seen is the Vine Shield cards. That is the only strategy that's really it was heal your hero, uh, have Divine Shield. Huh. Whenever. In, we just got this last turn. Do I want this in my deck? Let's try it. Would destroy all other minions. I think destroy means destroy. So I don't think if you had a divine shield, you would not be destroyed. Hmm. So I obviously have too many spell cards at the moment. And spell damage, I don't think would help any because I don't think it would increase the healing ability. They need to change anywhere where it says spell damage. It needs to be rethought as spell effect, and they need to rebalance it. Or, you know what, just come out with versions of this card that says spell healing plus one, and then there can be two of the same card. <laughs> be pretty easy. So, Fugenstalag, 
Squires. They still don't have the card that. that works with that. Should I do a Murloc deck? Hmm. I've been talking about a Murloc deck. I think I might try it. Let's see. If I can't figure out something to do with all these divine shields, I very well might just make a Murloc deck. Why am I doing it on the Paladin? No real reason. I think the Murlocs in particular are designed to be just, oh, you have one hero, but you don't have any good cards for that hero? Well then, make it a Murloc deck. Murlocs work just as well. Every on everybody. Alright, so Still looking, still thinking about this divine shield thought. I just don't see enough cards that interact with the divine shield. I mean, knife juggler. Let's put him in there. Why not? if I can get some explosive shield sheep in there. Let's get two more in there. doesn't really feel like it's working out. It really doesn't. There's no cards here that are really working with that. Um, with Divine Shields. This is, this is the deck. This is the deck I would have to make for Custom Paladin. Yeah, the histogram there is pretty all over the board. It'd be cool if you could change the character's abilities. Maybe not have nine new characters. Just change their ability. That would be fine. But. So let's play this deck. We're going to just play as the Paladin. And we'll do two games on this deck. And then if I don't just absolutely love it. I'm going to go make a Murloc deck and try that. This deck is all about just having divine shield and having a couple of creatures that will do damage to everybody if they explode Ooh, and versus, yeah. getting the health up. I will fight with honor. Do I have any one, um, one mana cards that can be played? I don't think I even do. 
well, there's two one mana cards right there. So I could definitely see if you just keep giving a character divine shield and giving him more attack, you could get him. I could get him to five. I could get him probably to ten or eleven, and then double it. Job's done. Okay, so I could summon this guy first, but that would be silly. Whenever you summon a mech, gain Divine Shield. Cobalt Guardian. Well. Reporting for duty. See if we can do this. See if we can actually bring out this five. I have two one mana things here, so we can get that. Um, Back to work. Quest done real fast. Rog. that card. I should have showed you the cards that we do need. I'll show those to you after these two games. The, there's a couple very key cards. For justice! This is actually going to work. A 6-3. <laughs> Greetings. Well met. What now? Armor made to fit. So we play this. And then just Court go justice. ahead and kill this guy. So we've got our guy. Now it's just a matter of pumping him up. Next turn will be six, so I summon, play this, and summon this guy so he has divine shield. Unless he can get something with charge or do one damage, this guy should be fine. And he'll be at a 10-7 for his first attack, which is very high. What now? Of course, this is really late game, mid game strategy I'm playing here. It's something I typically don't play. Oh, really? Sucks. That sucks. Reporting for two son. So eye for an eye. If I could get this guy really, really high. And then play eye for an eye, that would be cool. Mm, I wonder. I 
was a really cool strategy there. I was looking forward to playing it with the 6-3 e Cobalt Defender or whatever his name is. Maybe I could stall and play that card. Get down! I do like Noble Sacrifice in secret. It's pretty cool. Take both my guys just to not on my watch. <laughs> Reporting for you have another the divine battle. shield. This guy's gonna just attack, which is gonna suck. Suppose I could have the panda bring this guy back to my hand and try and battle cry him. So if we could just get his attack here up to 10, I would win. Reporting for Joseph. 
Still have a problem here. Still gonna win. That is... This is just a shame. I mean... How did he pull that off? Justice demands reporting for duty. Well played. That just boggles the mind. One more game with this deck, and then I'll probably get rid of it for a Murloc deck. Now, if I was going to play that legendary card I just got. I put in this deck. I should probably have a long bot. That'd be an Uther easier way. Undoing. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. If I had kept eye for an eye, I would have tied in the last game. Come to think of it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna end my turn. So the Anoitron would be another one to would be pretty good to just pump up with more and more attack. Is he going to summon anything? It kind of determines the next move I take. If he summons something that needs to be summoned, I'll play this and then try and play some of these. Mm. But if he doesn't, I may summon this, but if I don't have any damage, it'd be kind of wasteful to attack, but I probably should anyways.
for justice. Job's done. So this is the card I want to bring out. Reporting for duty. Keep expecting him to actually summon somebody. Like to do more damage than just killing this one slime. Let's just say acidic swamp ooze. I must consider. <sighs> Man is laid back. This is taking too long. Taking too long. Let's see. I must consider. Uh, TV is picking up again. Uh, Sleepy Hollow had a better episode this week that I saw. Uh, Archer has come back with a new season, and I've seen two episodes, so that was like. Two weeks ago it came back on and I mentioned it. Uh, were there any others? Shields off. Red alert. Reporting for duty. Ooh. So, few shows. The battle. Seem like Job's they're done. Coming into their own. Let's see. Were there any other shows? Mm. I occasionally watch Elementary, but I'm losing interest in it. I must um, consider. I watched an episode of Duck Dynasty where they were bottle fishing, quote unquote, where they would they tied a hook with a worm on it I to fishing line consider. and then tied the fishing line to just empty plastic liter bottles of soda. <laughs> How that is supposed to somehow entice or set entice a fish to bite okay I buy it I buy that they had a bunch of them but it didn't make much sense as to the um, what was setting the hook I have very small amount of knowledge of fishing and to fish when you when you are fishing you have to set the hook by jerking when you feel a nibble on the um, on the line. Weapons so you feel a nibble on your fishing rod, and then you have to really quickly jerk back, and that's called setting the hook. And it actually jerks the hook and gets it caught in the mouth and jaw of the fish. It's not pretty, but it's the truth. And so, if you just bottle fished, if you just had a worm on a hook 
and the, it was sitting there. Most big fish, smart fish, will just nibble off parts of the worm off the hook, or get the whole thing off the hook, and you won't catch them. Now on the Duck Dynasty show, I assume it was all rigged because they were picking up gigantic looking catfish. Catfish that looked like they were pets of somebody or that they had gotten at a um, reserve or something because that was just huge looking catfish. And so I don't, I don't buy it for a second that they were actually that, that they actually caught those fish. I think they just staged it like all these quote unquote non reality shows. Everything staged, everything staged. But yeah. And the worst part of the bottle fishing thought is that sure, maybe if you just make what was basically a minefield of dozens and dozens of silver lines that how they're not getting tangled up or anything. Leave all of that alone for a second. Don't worry about that. If they are doing all of that, when they saw the jugs bob up and down, because there was a fish allegedly stuck on it, they turned around and just started swimming in the the little pond towards the bottle and the fish so you're swimming in a pond that is full of floating fish hooks that's not safe you don't go swimming in a lake right next to where people are fishing if people are fishing you stay way 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 around from it because you don't want to get a fish hook stuck in your face so every time an enemy minion dies summon a leper no nice I must consider I don't know really how to synergize Give this me a quest. effect, though. How can we synergize it? Quickly. Pass me that part light scanner. Is someone injured? Do some protection here, or should I do some destruction? Explosions! More explosions! <laughs> well, that was certainly a turnaround. Um, of course, I need to kill a couple more of these guys. What's he gonna do? He could use his two smaller guys to kill my guy. We must cleanse the Sunwell. 
quickly. need to get him down in his health a little bit more. If I can get him down to 8 and then I can get ensure the seed giant is the one that attacks. I can do eye for an eye and win this. How many cards I does he have? Consider. 12 cards to my 15. So that legendary card, not really that useful. It's going to take some synergizing, trying to we figure must out. Consider. We must cleanse the sunwell. Behold the might of Stormwind! Quickly. Is he gonna run out of time, time again? gonna save me. Vengeance. Job's done. Stoic Bowset. I know Stoic. I don't know what Bowset is. Hmm. He's got a full deck. Seven creatures. So that's that deck. Now I've been talking about Murloc decks a lot. It's time to do a Murloc deck. That deck isn't going to really help. So we're going to test my theory and see if you can just throw Murlocs into any deck whatsoever. So all we're looking for is Murlocs. Can we filter? No. Here's a Murloc. Here's a Murloc. Here's a Murloc. Here's a Murloc. There's some more Murlocs. Here's a couple more Murlocs. Murloc. Murlocs. Fifteen Murlocs. I wouldn't have thought there were that many. But actually more. No, 
Uh, not 15 murlocs, but 15 cards of murlocs. So that's 17 Murloc cards. So you definitely can just have all Murlocs in a deck if you don't have anything else. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 different Murlocs. All very balanced at the moment. Let's just look through here quick and make sure there aren't any more other Murloc cards. I don't think there are. I think Old Murkai is probably the highest mana cost. Yep. Alright. So it has plus one attack for each other Murloc on the battlefield. All others have plus two, plus one, gives all others plus two health. Each player draws two cards. Summon a 1-1 one, one Murloc Scout. Charge. Whenever a Murloc is summoned, gain one. All of the Murlocs have plus one attack. So, just all this contributed um, additive combinations going on here. So if I'm playing Murlocs, let's find the cards now that will give a Divine Shield. Two Divine Shields. Uh, let's see. Noble Sacrifice. Return it to one. Divine shield, this guy, this guy. Okay, so that would probably be the most balanced Murloc deck paladin combination. Let's just think if there's anything else I would rather have in the deck. Do I want to do Mana Race? Yes, I think I do. I think it would be foolish not to have Mana Race in... Um, I need the Owl. Get the owl in there. Let's get the mana race in there. It's tough to get other cards in with the with the Murlocs. There's just so many Murlocs. And I bet there's some synergies going on that you could find to summon Murlocs really fast. Do I have the gnome, the one that says if you summon a one star or thing? It, let me find, see if I have that card. That one's pretty useful. For it probably would be pretty useful on this build. Let's see if, if he's around. 
Fugen Starlock? No. I rely on Fugen and Starlock way too much. And they don't pay off enough. So no, I don't have that card. Now let's go into crafting mode. Let's just show you the cards of the deck we were playing before. The cards that really would have synergized with them. Give a random friendly minion um, Divine Shield and Taunt. That's a pretty good weapon. Whenever you summon a minion, give it plus one, plus one. Seen that played, it works pretty good. Here's a great card, we've seen it played. Summon three Silver Hand Recruits and a 1-4 weapon. For three m mana, that is super overpowered. Draw a card and deal equal damage equal to its cost. Wow. So you could have a deck with like a 12 or 15 character and do 12 or 15 damage that way. Whenever a friendly minion dies, um, gain one attack. Nice. Give your sounder silver hand recruits plus two plus two. That's nice. It's a little expensive. Deal 8 damage, randomly split, and this one, Divine Shield and Taunt, Death Rattle equip a 5-3 Ashbringer. So that's not the card I was looking for. Uh, no, there's a different card. Am I going to have to find it in here? know if, how I'd even find it in this mess of cards I don't have. Let's see. All minions lose divine shield. Gain 3-3 three, three for each shield lost. Blood Knight. Now this is a card that would synergize really well. That's one of the cards we would want in the deck. Now I know there aren't, um, there just are not any more Murloc things. Here's the Hobgoblin. One attack minion, give it plus two, plus two. Hobgoblin, great card to uh, have if for a Murloc deck. I'd want that in my Murloc deck. Here. What's this one? Give your other minions Wind Fury, Taunt, or Divine Shield at random. Murloc deck might appreciate that quite a lot. That is a wild card. <laughs> Don't know what this card really does. <laughs> Give both powers the power to rock with a power core. What does that mean? I don't think I've seen anybody play it on me. We've seen Fell Reaver, we've seen Harrison Jones. They play Leroy Jenkins here a lot on occasion. Matter Bomber. We never got Voltron. To form. Never got to see what that looks like. Hmm. Whenever you cast a spell, 
add a random mech to your hand. Notice that there's been some visual glitching going on here too. I've been noticing it. Now, is this showing me all the cards I've ever seen? Let's see, visual glitch. Quite a lot of it, actually. Hopefully that's just the program and not indicative of something else. This is another one that you would probably want in your on a regular paladin deck. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all other characters. If you have a bunch of guys with taunt with divine shield, that's fine. But that'd be pretty dangerous. Gruel might work, because you could keep giving them divine shields, but why not for the same take this guy spell damage plus five cool I definitely would want that in my mage deck players only have 15 seconds to take their turn not really useful So here's the most expensive mana card. It is 20 mana and it costs one less for each damage your hero has taken. If you had that other card that says draw a card and do damage based on its cost, that's the max theoretically right there. 20 damage. So let's look at this histogram. It's a little bit over the board, all over the board. The only thing I have a l that's sort of strange is Kel'Thuzad, but everything else works. And notice that Old Murkai here is 4, Kel'Thuzad is uh, 8. So I'm probably going to run out of cards. How I'm going to screw it up, my plan, my thought is how I can screw this up is I'll just run out of cards. Obviously, a let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. Obviously, a what was I going to say? Hmm, I think it's time for a nap. Here we have Intoxicated, the rank 20, Golden, 500 victories. I don't believe it. Last time we saw somebody that was a rank 20 in Golden, they played horribly. Alright. All of the Murlocs have close one attack. Job's done. With his Hunter ability, he can't actually hit any of my Murlocs, which is cool. Actually, I should play this guy first, then this guy. That would have been three damage instead of two. If he 
you can't summon anything, he's gonna be in trouble. to traps like that. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. For a Murloc deck. Everything's just one health. Target acquired. Done. Running out of cards, like I said. We're making progress there. Maybe I should just play hold back. End a few turns. Save my mm -hmm. save my mana. I'm getting the feeling that they I might be sneakily sneaking in even more cards just as they go to the Goblins vs. Gnomes expansion. I didn't see this card until very recently, and now I'm seeing it's a lot. To my side. <laughs> so far, this guy is playing pretty good, so he might have actually legitimately gotten 500 wins. Which is silly. It's real silly anybody's gotten 500 wins considering how little time Reporting for duty. spent on these. The, this game is only like a year, maybe two years old. So somebody had to play pretty religiously to get 500 wins. I suppose if I wasn't playing any of the other games I'm playing, I c might. Okay, that sucks.
was a mistake, but I, I'm happy for it. Now he can only hit my dumb face instead of targeting my warlocks. Not that any of that's gonna help. Reporting for duty. So yeah, it really feels like I need to just go till like 7th, 8th, ninth turn before summoning Murlocs. Just stall, let them do damage to my face as long as possible and then come out and summon all, but you can only summon like 3 so, well, I don't know. Maybe he'll play along and he'll hit my 1-1 one, one guy with his Gazira. So he can get that life really high. Nope, I'm not gonna play along, I'm just gonna win the game. So, I see no impropriety there. He could have, he played good enough that I could believe he actually did grind it out. Last game of this episode. Not a lot's happened. Not a lot was going to happen. We've built two decks, which takes a lot of time, so this might actually be a longer episode than it probably should have been. Just trying Murloc decks, trying Paladin decks. Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. So if I'm gonna try and hold off, I don't want Murlocs. I want to get every card that's not a Murloc card. Noble Sacrifice. I got rid of this card. Go mana wraith. Job done. Two of these guys could kill him, but they would die. Weapons ready. Two.
Seems to be working this time. Seems like if you get lucky with the Murloc deck. I mean, but mostly I've just the been, I've just got ready. lucky, period. Don't even have to do with the Murloc. Just well played. So I have seven, eight, nine, one. Seven. And the battle. Oh, I was gonna string them along. Apparently, Kiwi didn't want to play. Oh, so. Stick with the Murloc deck here. That's the end of this episode, but let's click this deck. Custom Paladin. G walk up to our keyboard and try this. Murlocs. Enter. So we can remember that that is our Murloc deck. Yep, I could go in here and rename them all if I felt like it, but you know, you delete them and you come back. So we got all of our quests done. No problem. We've ended up with more gold than what we started with. We have our arena unlocked for next recording session and we are done that sorry if this was a little bit long for not actually accomplishing anything it may have been building a deck twice is not a super smart thing to do but it's also all about learning you know we just gotta learn uh, as always I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos because all of that stuff really does help out. Have a good evening.